Hello there. Some of you might remember the uh, pamphlet question evolution, which uh, myself and a lot of others did um, a response to. Uh, that was organised by Lapkind77, link there. Um, uh, he's just PM'd me saying, uh, the one and only Mr. Shock of God of creationist fame has himself done a response to that response, which I haven't seen yet. Um, I know it's going to be a laugh, so I'm going to watch it now. Oh, could make it a drinking game, actually, but I've got work tomorrow, and that would go down badly if I'm hungover for, like, a month. But, yeah, to make it a drinking game, all you have to do is take a shot every time he uses the word madness, or proof and evidence, or talks. All right, here we go. Oh, fuck, it's 18 and a half minutes long. Fuck it, many parts that'll do. Alright, uh, first bit. Evolutionists failed to provide proof and evidence for evolution. Evolution still stumped on the 15 questions. And he gives a link to the 15 questions, but... Anyway, right. Play. Hope you can hear this as well. Uh, nothing's happening. Hey folks, how yep. you doing? This is Shock, and... Hi, Shock. We've asked evolutionists all over YouTube to answer 15 questions. 15 questions. And they are dazed, stumped, and confused. <laughs> One of the guys that is stumped and confused is Lapkind77, and um, I'm sure he doesn't mind me playing parts of his video. I'm going to point out a couple of parts here of his video where they fail epically. Um, epically let's fail. start off with this guy. It's based on the assumption that DNA is information. So the question is actually this. Now, did, you, did you notice that? Everyone knows that DNA is information. I want to pause it there. I'm just going to pause the it there. The question that we asked, and, and, I'm, and click the annotation on the video you're watching now, and you can I'll see turn the turn annotations question. off because they're bullshit. We didn't ask about Shakespeare. <laughs> I don't know why he's talking about Shakespeare. Do you... Have you ever noticed how bad Shock of God it is at kind of understanding metaphors and, you know, similes and just things of that nature? Where to explain something will use a common tactic used by people who teach or lecture or try to explain things to others will go, well, it's a bit like this, so you can imagine it. Shock of God has no understanding of this whatsoever. What's with the guy? DNA is information. The DNA enigma is a problem. How did that information get there? It could not evolve. It could not get there... Uh, through purely Darwinian means. So you notice the guy just said, well, DNA is not information. This evolutionist doesn't know what he's talking about. Of course it's information. Everyone knows that. Kind of. kind 777, your video's an epic fail. Now watch what this guy does. Oh, he's put a note on it saying, there are court cases also where courts have ruled DNA is information. I'm looking for a source. Not why. On uh, his video, he, he doesn't answer the question. And of course, science is decided by jury. Everyone knows this. And rather, he sidesteps it and he starts talking about Shakespeare. Watch this. It's a metaphor. It's an epic fail for evolutionists. Watch no, it's this. a metaphor. Accidental mistakes and random changes in the text of Shakespeare maintain, improve, or expand the Shakespeare text. Now, that wasn't the question. When you click metaphor. The <laughs> you evolutionists are so dishonest. <laughs> the question is not about Shakespeare. It's a metaphor. We're asking questions for evolutionists. Look, click the annotation when this video is I'm over. I'm have a look at the annotation. And what uh, is you it? guys can watch this. But I'm just showing you some of the dishonesty of the evolutionists. But it gets... It's an annotation saying, click here to see why evolutionists are angry and running scared. He thinks we're all angry. I think it's hilarious. It's genuinely shock of God. You cheer me up with... With just your bullshit. It's hilarious. It's like happy clowny bullshit. It's brilliant. God. Oh shit, I just. Uh, edit. I just got excited and clicked the wrong thing. But anyway, here we go again. I'm showing you some of the dishonesty of the evolutionists, but it gets worse. Their answers are absolutely pathetic. Behold this epic fail. It is another epic fail. Evolutionist. Last yeah, time, 7 on. 7, you guys really failed big time. Watch this. Well, they can't. Shakespeare text cannot be maintained, improved, or expanded. But now, we didn't ask about the Shakespeare text. You see what they do? They will evade and they'll run from the question. <laughs> Maybe they have evolved into chickens. Who knows? Let's continue. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
It, it's, uh, we're trying to simplify it to explain, and woof, we've evolved into chickens, headless ones, running around, trying to explain something to a moron. The assumption that DNA is a book containing information is false. Now, wait a minute. DNA doesn't have any information in it? Really? Wow. No. Assuming DNA is like text in a book, in that way of thinking of that information is not true because it doesn't work like that. Metaphor! There are major evolutionists out there, major ones that admit that DNA has information. Let's keep going. I'm only a lieutenant evolutionist myself. Sorry, that was terrible. Astral molecule of RNA just behaved in a certain way for chemical reasons, and life slowly assembled around it. There's not some information carried in the ancestral molecule. This is ridiculous! I gotta rewind it so you guys. I love his laugh. It's brilliant. You can hear this. He's, he said what he just said is a faith based statement. He has no scientific evidence of this. He said he's actually bringing up a chemical origin. That's right, because every sentence you ever say must be cited, unless, of course, you're shock of God. Well, all these chemical origins, when you click the annotation and you watch the, the video on the 15 questions, you'll realize Same that annotation. science has rejected a chemical origin of life. Let, let's rewind this and listen closely how the guy, really, what, he's, what this evolutionist on Lapkind 7.7's video is talking about is religion. These evolutionists are extremely religious. I don't get it. I don't understand what a shock of God thinks religion is. I honestly don't. What he's Apparently it's bad. I agree. Giving us is a religious worldview that is based on no proof and evidence. It's based on faith. Check the proof and evidence, drink. This out. Listen to what he says. He doesn't provide proof and evidence. He just says what drink he again. believes happened. But, but there's no proof to it. Watch that. 